can you guys ask him could you please talk more about ecstasy experience during spiritual journey my answer will be disappointing so you better not ask me or you better be ready for the bitter pill all these ecstasy experiences and all kinds of firework experiences they are simply illusions created by the mind and they are completely useless you will not progress even one inch if you get such experience what are they they are by products of purification it is simply as if you are carrying a 20 kg weight on your back and you are walking walking in the heat and when you reach your destination you put down the weight and you relax and that is very very much like ecstasy and um, release pleasure and that's all it is nothing extraordinary has happened you are freed from that unnecessary burden so for a few days it will feel like okay i'm flying in the clouds something like this but don't worry it is also impermanent it also goes away the real experience that you want is of the bliss and peace where there is no ecstasy there is no nothing unusual and extreme what are people doing they are looking for extreme experiences that is foolish quanimity is the real experience so i know nobody likes this when i say that because the sufficient maturity is not there in those people i also started with such things you know i want this thing and i want that thing i want this state and that state so then i saw that everything is useless they come and go the permanent state is of bliss which is simply emptiness being empty and conducting your daily life in total peace without impulses without the unnecessary most naturally when you flow in the life that is the best experience so far mm, vanita saying i don't want very worldly things enough of it see you want them to survive and when the survival is taken care it's totally unnecessary you have to draw a line where your comfort is for the worldly life to make the body comfortable and to make the ego or the mind you know feed it a little bit and after that line you should stop after that your real pre allocation starts but for some people the pre allocation states pre allocation says that do the worldly things because their desires are unfulfilled so far so what do they do they do all these things which worldly people do family jobs marriages children and then in this lifetime they will not progress beyond this but as soon as you get a guru there everything changes then not before that so now your job is to find out that is, what is that which is not worldly and the good news there is a good news and bad news that <laughs> you will end up doing nothing but worldly things as long as there is human body it is necessary but it can be done in total awareness and the good news is the path of knowledge will give you the highest goals in few days in few days the path of knowledge is over and there is nothing more to seek in spiritual field also now what will you do that is a big topic and usually i say there is nothing to do continue the experience as it is because it is going to continue for eternity the experience is eternal it is beyond time so and there nobody is there to do anything so there is no point in thinking now is is simply happening you become the witness of it so doing the worldly things is still doing doing the spiritual things is still doing and letting everything happen is non doing so our goal is to become goalless our aim is to become aimless and our job is to do nothing simply be the witness i know the newcomers don't like this thing they say what kind of boring <laughs> guidance is this i want to achieve this i want to achieve that so in such cases my su- suggestion is go and achieve it come back after 20 years the question is uh, guru ji like the great masters like uh, you also are and sadguru also are how do they uh, create the sankalp so much that that sankalp effects the complete uh, you know like they have the sankalp to uh, affect the whole of the earth so do they really get uh, that much energy uh, behind their uh, sankalp to manifest even the simple desire that okay people should have this knowledge 
although i know these things happen uh, but uh, at the if we talk about at the level of illusion can great masters put so much energy behind their sankalp uh, to distribute the knowledge very good question yes this will happen to you and just like i say your material desires may not be fulfilled may be fulfilled who knows but the spiritual desire if you get it then extraordinary events can happen they are given and uh, as everybody knows by now guru field is behind it one person cannot do this what the person does is he disappears the person disappears and em- this shell becomes empty his body mind is becomes an instrument and the guru field starts using it so the energy or the sankalp is of the guru field not of the person the person can only surrender the desire is also not of the person obviously that is a deeper topic let us assume that there is a desire of the person now the person simply asks for this to be fulfilled and if it is a spiritual desire he needs to simply make the state the desire fold your hands and say it no rituals needed and it will be heard and it will you need to get out of the way and then this body mind will be used you will say exactly that which helps the other person you will do exactly that which makes the other person progress it can be anything and the events will happen in exactly the way which is which are needed so you can see that this is not the person who is doing it is something else and we call this tendency of the nature to spiritually progress evolve spiritually there is a name of this tendency and that name is guru field so it has happened to you that you have connected to the guru field the step number 7 is working for you in the program there are many people for whom it it worked actually i was surprised that it is so easy to <laughs> it is so easy to uh, connect a person connect a seeker to the guru field and then everything happens automatically so the very good experience you are having and the more pure your desire is for example it is selfless and conditional and you don't want anything in return no expectations then more chances are that it will be done for you and sometimes the rules will be bent to the rules of the illusion and bypassed actually they are not bypassed yeah uh, it's, it's a deeper process but it for us it looks like it's it's a miracle of some kind we cannot understand what is going on so yes always desire that which is beneficial for others just now i was saying you know when there is no doer and the, the path of knowledge gives you everything then what to do this will be the question as i said do nothing but an ordinary person will not be satisfied they have the energy and uh, if there is no goal then the energy is wasted in doing unnecessary things the impulses arise and then the actions happen unnecessary actions happen so what do we do we fulfill somebody else's desires because there is no desire left for me so i take on others desires try to fulfill them this is another level of guidance you can simply say things and you can tell them what is knowledge and what is not knowledge what is evidence what is not evidence this is one level listening but there is another level where, where you uh, intervene in the causal body and take a little bit of prelocation from them especially the negative part and the guru then gets the fruits of those tendencies and the seeker the student progresses very fast this will happen very rarely but that is the next step so now experiment with fulfilling others desires especially we don't want to fulfill everybody's desires especially the material people materialist people we don't want to fulfill their desires it's going to end up uh, without any fruit there won't be any progress for that person but the desire of a seeker is paramount that is biggest thing in the universe if a seeker desires something it must be fulfilled so take up something somebody wants something if you can give give it usually it is very small most of the seekers they do not do not want material things like manita said but they do want something which is non material non physical most of the people they have never received any unconditional love in their life 
they have never received any support guidance and they don't have any true friends they have friends but they're very 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 helpful friends but a true friend is one who will make you progress that is my definition so the guru is the best friend actually help others yes pratip is saying doing already ask the desire of the other person very clearly you should directly ask what do you desire and you will find a confusion on their face because they don't know what they desire <laughs> that's one thing so you help that person to bring out the prayer location little bit bring it out let them say from their own mouth and you do whatever is possible and if it's not possible to do if it's not possible to fulfill their desire by any means then you pray your prayer has i can say more energy more power than an ordinary person because of your punya karma because your of your good deeds and because you have spoken the truth your speech has more power it will be heard more like in your society also if a big person important person is saying something he is heard more there will be statements on in newspaper in the news that this fellow said this even if it is something very simple normal ordinary but that is heard everywhere same way your uh, speech will be heard you, you have this power now if nothing happens it all looks like there is no effect of my prayer no effect of my desire and it is all failing and then don't worry it's not going to happen for uh, all the cases there is no consistency here so we need to do our part and then let it go do not run after it that i could not fulfill this one desire of one seeker no problem something else will be fulfilled when the right time is there something else will come out 